project 30 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this form web animation by just using html css and javascript so now if you click on this form right here so just check out these labels right here all right so here you can see we are going to be creating this web animation by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so i'll just write a create a folder given name of like 030 dot form web okay so inside this form web folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just tile.css and the third one will be just app.js okay so now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can see it a bit better all right so now let's jump right into our html so the first thing you do is that we would just write our doc type and here we are going to be writing our form well and now let's just link it with our css right here and our javascript okay and now i want to just hide this metas from there and then just right click on it open it with live server and now we are ready to go so for html we are going to be just writing like a main with a class of container so container inside this main we are going to be writing our h1 like please and then we have to just wrap it with a span in this span we are going to be giving a class of a special and here we are going to be writing a login okay and then we have to just write our form right here and no action no whatsoever but we are going to be just deleting this action from there and inside this form we are going to be writing our section with a class of form control and inside this form control we have our input which is just required so just write like required and this really is required by the way you have to write there and then we have to write our label right here with no for but just write an email right here inside it okay so now let's just uh, underneath this section we have to just create a new section and we also give them a clause of form control and inside this form control we ha just have to write our input with a type of password and this is also required okay so then we have to finally write our label and then just remove four from there and then just write a password okay and then underneath this section we are going to be writing a button with the class of btn and then login save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's jump right into our css and just style it a bit all right so the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and then i'll just write like box sizing or border box okay and then i'll select my body and change the background color to just like rgb and now here we are going to be writing our add and and add okay so the text color will be totally black display will be flex because we want everything to be a center and then we are going to be writing a flex direction to be column and then justify content will be center and align items will also be center okay and then we have to just write our height of 100 vh and margin will be zero all around on family you can choose whichever you like but in my case i'm gonna just go with send serif all right so this is how it looks like currently but now let's just dive into a little bit more styling so the second thing which you have to select is this container right here which is this container so i want to just select this container right away inside this container we are going to be writing the background color will be totally white and background color will be white and then we have a padding of five frame all around so top and bottom left and right border radius will be five pixels seven and this is how it looks like right now okay so this is about a container styling and now let's select this h1 right here all right so now let's select our container and then or select our h1 and then we have to just write a text align of center and margin uh not top but bottom will be just 40 pixels save it and this is how it looks like so now let's just um style this login right now so we have to select our special class right now so we have to just write like our special special class background will be crimson and then we have to give a little bit of padding from top and bottom like five pixel and left and right will be 20 pixel and color will be totally white save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just style these forms and these labels as well now let's get our form control which is this form control this one and this one as well so now let's select there so for that we are going to be just writing like form control and now let's select there and then we have to just give them a little bit of position relative to it and then margin will be 20 pixel 0 and 40 pixel and then width will be 
300 okay 300 pixel 7 and this is how it looks like currently all right so now let's get our form control input so just write like uh form control and then input and then just change the background color to be transparent and then the border to be zero and border bottom to be two pixel and solid and totally black okay and then we have to just write a display of block to it block and then width will be 100 percent and padding will be 15 pixel top and bottom and left and right will be zero and then we have a font size of 18 pixels and color will be totally black savage and this is how it looks like right now so that was it about a form control inputs so now let's select or um what do we call it let me just scroll down a bit and now let's select our form then dash control and now let's select our input but with the focus start so we are going to be just selecting there and duplicate and then we have a valid okay so if both of them is happening then we have to just write outline of zero and border bottom will be bottom color will be just crimson save it and nothing's gonna happen so once it's active so then we will get like these uh, outline will be none so if you just close that here you can see it will now gives us outlines so we don't want that so now we are going to be just undoing this outline zero save it and this is what's happening all right so now let's jump right into our btn um, focus so just write a btn focus and that's focus we are going to be writing outline of zero and then we have to just select our btn active Act, come on active and now you want to select like transform then scale of like 0 0.98 the next thing which you have to do is to select our label so I'll just write like form control of label and now let's select label okay and then just write a position of absolute to it and top will be 15 pixel and left will be left will be zero and pointer event will be none save it and this is how it looks like right now so we can just write anything and it will still shows up so this level will be do not hidden so here you can see that so we are going to be providing a little bit of javascript for that so it will become a span this one will be transformed to the x-axis like a little bit above so you will just see this animation just in a second so once we jump right into a javascript so then let's just write like form control of label lay label and then span and these classes will be for javascript okay javascript we have a span and display will be inline block and then we have like font size of 18 pixel let me just make it a bit bigger and min width will be 5 pixel and then we have a transition of 0 0.3 seconds you big blazer 0 0.3 six eight and then comma minus zero point five five and then comma zero point two six five okay and then we have one point five five right here okay so this will be kind of our transition and then we have is a form control and now let's select our input when it's on a focus focus so then you also want our label and spin so just duplicate it and now let's change this focus to valid okay and here we're going to be just changing the color to like crimson and we are going to be just transforming to the y-axis transform come on transform to translate to the y-axis minus 30 pixels okay so 30 pixels and that will be it about html and css okay so now let's jump right into our javascript and add some interactivity to the site so first thing which you have to do is that we have to select or all labels so I'll just write like const all labels and now it will be equals to document dot query selector all and now let's select like form control of label okay so then now let's select all levels dot for each so now we want to iterate over through this level so i'll just write a label and then here we are going to be selecting our label dot inner html will be now equals to label dot inner html as well okay and now we want to split them so i'll just write like split and here we are going to be just providing nothing 
and then the final method we want to use on this one so we are going to be writing our map and then we have to just write like our callback function to this map so we want to get our letter and we also want to get our index right here okay so now let's just call this function right here and then inside that we are going to be just like rendering or span and then we have to just provide a little bit of style to that like transition transition delay it will take is like this index so let me just write it there really quickly this dollar sign index which we provide right here okay and then it will be times 50 milliseconds okay and now let's close that as well so that's that and then we have to just write and then we have to write or letter right here okay letter and then th let's just close our span right away so span and now let me just zoom out of here okay so that's that and now let's finally add our join method so we can join all of our split things which we split right here okay so now let's join that back join that and save it so now if you check that so nothing will show up i guess i missed something all right so <laughs> i'll just remove this curly brace from here and also this column save it and now it's looking better and now if we click on that so here you can see this animation right here and by the way we also forgot to style this button as well so now let's jump right into our button all right so we did select that like we have a focus stat we have an active stat but i forgot to style the main button so now let's just do that all right so here i'll just write like button let's select that cursor will always be pointer display will be inline block and then we have a width of 100 percent and then we have a background of crimson and then we have a padding of 15 pixel all around and font family will be inherit for now font size will be 16 pixel and then we have is a border of zero and finally let's just add a border radius of five pixels save it and this is our button right now so let's just change the text color of it to like totally pure white save it and this is how it looks like right now so if you click on this level so here you can see each of the world will be just taken space and it will take a little bit of delay because we provide a transition of delay with this index and we divide that with 15 milliseconds so that's why it's taking a little bit of time so if you just active this one so it's taking that time anyhow you get the idea and how to create this animation right now so i guess that was it about for this project so now if you guys don't know about git and github so you can feel free to skip this video or if you want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now okay so you shouldn't have to but if you want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so i'll just write like git status so we've got 13 so git add everything and git commit dash m and then i'll just write like form uh well um animation would be fine and then that's that get push origin push to origin main okay hit enter and it will now push our code into our github repository and now if we refresh that so here you can see we get this 13 of form wave right here okay so we have index.html file which is right here and then we have app.js file and then we have style.css file and we get everything right here so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye